Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the all snap error, something went wrong while displaying this web page in the Google Chrome web browser. So pretty straightforward. I know this can be very frustrating for some of you guys. So we're going to try to make this as seamless as possible. So we're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then we're going to left click on the run option, it should be third from the bottom. Now you want to type in msconfig and you want to hit OK at the bottom of this run dialog window. Underneath services, left click on that tab. Left click on where it says hide all Microsoft services at the bottom left. So check mark that box. And now once you've done doing that, what you want to do is uncheck all of these by selecting Disable All. This will disable all non-critical Microsoft services. Do not worry, we're going to be turning them all back on by the end of this video. So once you're done doing that, you're going to click on Apply and OK. Save our change. You're going to get a system configuration pop-up saying you may need to restart your computer to apply these changes. Before restarting, save any open files and close all programs. Left click on the restart button, bottom left. So we're going to restart our computer and I will be right back. So this computer has restarted. I'm going to sign into my account here. Should just take a moment. And once the account is done signing in, we will continue with this tutorial. So now that we've gone back into our desktop, again, right click on the start button, left click on run again. msconfig should already be in here from the last time we ran it, so click on OK. Going up to the services tab again, left click on hide all Microsoft services, left click on this button that says enable all. You'll see everything becomes checkmarked. You could have achieved the same result without unchecking this box, but still. And if you on a sign out had any of these disabled before we did anything, you can disable them one by one. If there are any ones that you might have personally have disabled, you don't have to enable all of them. However, assuming most of you guys have not been in this area of Windows, you probably should enable all of them just to be safe, but it doesn't really necessarily make that big of a difference. But regardless, we're going to click on Apply and OK. I'm going to exit without restart, even though I'd recommend you guys restart. So I'm just going to exit without restart for the moment. And assuming you restart your computer again, then try to open up Google Chrome, and hopefully it would work for you guys. So, and if you guys are wondering what that other pop up was, that was for OneDrive. It really doesn't have anything to do with this video. And I do get that pop up a lot. So, Getting back on this tutorial, I think it's pretty much come to a close. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope it worked for you, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.